Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to New York. I'm out here with Audi UK for the final round of the Formula E series or Formula E Championship in 2019. Staying in a lovely hotel in Brooklyn and uh, I'm only literally meters away from the start of the Brooklyn Bridge so I'm going to have a wander over there. But the main focus is obviously the Formula E. We're going to head down to the track in about an hour's time, hopefully see a bit of practice. Tomorrow is going to be qualifying and then uh, we'll see the race itself. So hopefully this should be a really enjoyable vlog and you'll get to uh, join me and experience everything out here in New York. Hey guys, you join me down at the docks in Brooklyn. Uh, we've just been wandering around the Formula E circuit and the pit lane and stuff. We've been in to see the uh, Audi team. And their drivers are Lucas Degrassi and Daniel Apt. And in fact, this is the sixth season of Formula E and that's the same driver lineup they've had since the first season. Uh, there's eight drivers that could take the title this weekend. Um, Lucas Degrassi is in second, so he is definitely one of them. And Daniel Apt is in eighth, I believe. So he's a bit of an outsider's chance of winning, but he could potentially um, mathematically take the win. This is the first season that teams have run just the one car, so previous Formula E seasons, they've had two cars each, the drivers, and they would swap after 20 minutes during the race. But this season, the car runs for 45 minutes on one charge effectively, which is really impressive. There's gonna be 10 manufacturers next year uh, on the grid, and they're all gonna have essentially the same car, but manufacturers do things like engines, uh, gearbox, a few suspension components and stuff, and obviously manage things like cooling because there's a lot of technology and science behind the actual cooling of the batteries, keeping the batteries the right temperature. Tires obviously always fascinate me and in fact it's Michelin throughout the grid and uh, the Michelin tires they run are treaded tires, so like um, tires that can deal with rain and dry. I'll join you guys back here tomorrow. Cheers. Good morning guys, welcome to another really hot day in Brooklyn, New York. Just down here, back at the Formula E race. Uh, today they've already had a couple of practice sessions. Uh, we're just on a grid walk at the moment. Uh, qualifying is in about an hour's time. And then race one happens at four o'clock today. And race two we've got four o'clock tomorrow. So it should be a really interesting day. It is so hot, it feels like 30 degrees already and it's not even 11 a.m. Just been for an amazing run this morning with Nick and Emma. Uh, we headed over to Manhattan, ran over Manhattan Bridge. We went to Ground Zero, took some pictures, and then we ran back over Brooklyn Bridge. It was just awesome. Anyone that comes to New York needs to do that run because it's just incredible. And seeing New York like that is just awesome. We're now uh, actually outside the Audi garage, which is just behind me. There's a hype of activity going on. No last minute change and set up, I'm sure, for the qualifying that's happening very soon. I'm just at the end of the pit lane now, so I'll turn around so you can see that. You see some uh, e-trons go past. How about that for timing? There you go. Okay guys, excuse the fact that I'm a bit dark on the camera. We've got a lovely bright skyline behind us. Uh, we are currently at the Audi Hospitality. We've got an amazing view. That over there is the Manhattan skyline. We've got things like the Statue of Liberty, which is somewhere over here. Um, and obviously that is the circuit behind us. We've uh, got Super Pole going on. So basically the top six from the initial qualifying going to Super Pole. Uh, Daniel Apt has made it into the top six just. So hopefully he can place maybe on the front row of the grid and uh, give him a good chance later on to, uh, yeah, to at least get a podium in race one. An amazing setup here as you can see. This is like the public bit which is just full of loads of stuff to, to see and do. Um, there's loads going on, loads of people here compared to yesterday obviously, now that it's open to the public. But this is just pretty sick, we've got food and then down there we've got a bar and uh, we're currently sitting down here 
Mr. Roy Reed, uh, Matt Watson, Colwell, Camilla from Audi, and everyone else. This is like our Audi group, and as you can see, pretty good view of everything going on. Michelin, favourite tyre manufacturer, and there is the Statue of Liberty in the distance. Hey guys, we're down here at the grid. Again, we're about to actually head onto the track itself. Uh, we've got some grid passes finally. Um, we are going to check out the Audis. I believe they qualified in fourth, Apt was in fourth, and uh, Degrassi was, I think, 16th or so, but the times are so close. Buemi is on pole position, um, and it's going to be an interesting race. I think there's going to be a bit of bumping and barging going on. Somewhere behind me is Mr. Casey Neistat, potentially the number one and best YouTuber on the planet. Um, I'll insert a little selfie that I put on my Instagram. Um, yeah, pretty chuffed that I've just met him, that's really cool. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm running out of energy because it is just so hot out here. It's over 30 degrees now, and we've just been walking around a hell of a lot. Obviously this morning we had about an hour's jog, so um, but all good, can't complain. Here with these boys. And uh, yeah, I think we're about to head out, so. Just walking up the grid, it is so hot out here, it's unbelievable. Um, loads of celebrities out here, loads of models. Um, and just saw Lucas Degrassi who was chatting to Emerson Fittipaldi, which was so, so cool. Um, there's just, yeah, so much going on. So many things to look at, and I think we're actually getting ushered off the grid. The cars are all being cooled, so the battery packs need to be as cold as possible, so there's lots of dry ice, etc., going on. Uh, loads of things just to keep the cars as cool as possible before the start of the race. Something else I picked up on just walking along the grid is all the tyres look quite worn, and what I didn't realise was each car only gets two sets of tyres for the entire weekend, again being green, um, which is really cool. So they're using some really scrub looking tyres on a lot of the cars. They'll probably keep a fresh set for maybe tomorrow's race. Um, but yeah, it's a whole new learning experience for me. Anyway, we've got to head off the grid. I'm going to go and get some shade, go and find myself another cocktail and uh, enjoy the race. Guys, it's been an action packed race so far. We've got about five minutes left. So we've got the Audi drivers. Degrassi has punched his way up to sixth, and Daniel Apt has gone back to seventh. Um, but they're all still very close. We've seen so many incidents on this corner here. It's been the best viewing point. As a spectator's spectacle, or a racing spectacle, it's really good because there's a lot of bumping and grinding. A lot of accidents. It's exactly what you want to see in a motor race. So, aside from the lack of sound, it's uh, it is really exciting. Oh, what timing! Oh my God, it's Matt Watson from Carlwell. Yeah, it's Joe. Have you seen his socks? See his socks, people. You can get them on Control and Shift. I've never heard of Control and Shift. Oh, they were sponsored in the back of one of your videos, mate. I need to send you the invoice for that. I think it's about four thousand pounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. Just send it to my management, mate. Yeah. Hi, guys. Okay guys, we're on the final lap now, so they do 45 minutes plus one lap, so when the time runs out, the leader goes across the line, uh, they have one lap left, so it's going to be interesting to see if Degrassi can go up one more place, overtake Sims, oh, 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 carnage. Let's see where they finish. Okay, so Bremi, the pole setter, wins. Uh, we've got Degrassi, fifth place, and we've got Daniel out in seventh. Really impressive.
Just uh, watching the podium here. Look at that, that is so cool. And next, the national anthem of the winning team. Cool guys, that'll be it for today. I'll join you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the Formula E. Today is Sunday, it's the final round of this uh, season's Formula E. We've got the Super Bowl going on behind us. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't get Degrassi into the Super Bowl, but we do have Daniel Apt in there, and he's actually out on the circuit now, so should be coming through the shot any second. The times are so close. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I think there's about a tenth between the top four. Um, but that's second row at the moment. There's still two more drivers to go, so hopefully he can hold second row, because as we saw yesterday, there's lots of overtaking. So I think fourth place, you could quite easily get yourself on the podium and potentially on to the top step. <laughs> Mr. Roy Reed, can you sum up the Formula E in New York City in one sentence? Fun. I think this is a great event. I love the paddock, it's inclusive, there's a lot going on, the racing's good. I enjoy myself, man. I gave up Formula One in Silverstone to come here in NYC, and I don't regret that maneuver. I love it. Come see Formula E. Awesome, man. I know a lot of that was due to the fact that I'm here, but we won't we won't include that in the video. Nice, nice uh, vest you got going on there as well, mate. It's just my normal t-shirt. <laughs> Good to see you, mate. As always, lovely to hang with you. Um, yeah, make sure you follow Mr. Roy Reed on Instagram. Right here. Right here. Miss Emma Walsh. Hey. How's it going? Well, oh, wait, you've got. Oh, that's embarrassing. You got the same. You got the same outfits on. Oh. Um. What can you sum up Formula E in one sentence or whatever you want? Just how was your weekend here? What do you think of it? I've had a great weekend. I honestly think that it's such good racing to watch. I think they all go for it. There's lots of bumps and grinds. I think they don't hold back, which is really nice to see in racing. And you never know who's going to win, which is awesome. But it's been great. It's been very warm. Uh, but we've had a great weekend. Thanks, to Audi. Amazing. Yes. Thank you, Audi UK and Audi Sport. Good to see you, Emma. You too. Cheers. Right then, guys, that is it here in New York from the Formula E. Uh, it's been a really exciting final race. There's been lots of passing, lots of incidents. Really, really cool event. Thanks a lot to Audi UK, obviously, for inviting me out here. It's been amazing. Everything, the weather, seeing New York at this time of year. I've only been here in the winter before, so that was awesome. And uh, just hanging around with some brilliant people, all the journalists and other YouTubers and people from Audi UK. It was just fantastic. So it's a really good event. It's been a merry event. Um, right, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys at the next one. Thanks for watching. Mr. Roy Reed, in one sentence, can you sum up what it was like at the Formula One, Formula E? <laughs>